probably shouldn't be doing this when I'm still emotional, but I feel like I need to get the word out there. Um, so I was just in Primark um, in Cambridge and um, I feel really stupid being emotional about this, but um, yeah, I was trying on some clothes and it was a unisex changing room, which I'm really for and I love that because, you know, it makes everyone feel included. But twice, um, two men walked, opened the curtain, walked in on me. Um, luckily, both times I had, I was wearing fully clothed, but I could easily not have been. Um, and I, yeah, it was two different people, um, clearly from the same group. And there was many, like, uh, probably like a hundred changing rooms available. Um, so it's not like, you know, it was like always someone in here or not. It was you know clearly um yeah the first time it was like as they walked in they did it and then the second time was one of them said to the other one oh like have you tried it on like can i see and then yeah he opened it and both times like i was so shocked and i was like oh sorry like as if it was my fault um but yeah um i have to say though primark have been amazing um they were really really good about it um yeah they they have walked me back to my car and everything because I was scared um, apparently it's not the first time it's happened and um, security are watching back the tapes and seeing if they can find who it is but yeah I just want to say to people please be careful um, and if you go in the changing room try not go on your own um, I will never be doing that again I would rather take it home try it on and then take it back and get refunded so yeah stay safe you know what I find fascinating about this clip guys is that even though the young lady in the video says that she supports this kind of thing, she's obviously very upset and very shaken. And who wouldn't be? She was in the changing room, Primark in Cambridge, and men walked in on her and pulled the curtain back. I mean, the thing is, you can, <laughs> you, kn you know this kind of thing is bound to happen. It's not like changing rooms have really strong doors when you go in there to keep people out. They don't have locks on the doors. They always have those stupid mesh type curtains I've never understood why they've had those. I just, this kind of thing is upsetting because it was something that you could say, well, surely if we do X and Y, this will happen. And that's exactly what has happened in this case. And obviously the men in question may have been creeps, perverts, whatever. But my point is, I think it would have been far less likely to happen if it had been a ladies only changing room. Because if it's a ladies only changing room, any member of the public who sees a man walking in there will immediately get suspicious and hopefully tell a member of security. You know, I, I can relate to this in a way because I remember when they first brought in unisex bathrooms in certain venues in London. I was at a venue in London once to do a show and I had completely forgotten that they were unisex bathrooms. And I walked into the bathroom to go to the toilet and I came out of the toilet, right? And I saw a woman standing right in front of me and I thought, why are you in the gents? And for that one or two second moment, I was really quite frozen. I thought, I don't know what to say. I don't know what to do. What do I say to this woman? Am I, what, how do I communicate with her? This is such a weird environment to be in. And then I remembered, oh, hang on, they're unisex bathrooms, so she's allowed to be in here. Although, being honest with you, when she saw me, she didn't look too happy either. Because I just don't, I just, for me, the experience, I just think, I, I think I, I do get concerned about this. I get really concerned about people's safety in these kind of situations. So I think it's a, a very interesting video, this. And I know there's a lot of fuss right now on social media, anger against Primark for this. But I do think we need to work out a better system in this to avoid things like this happening.